A 1v4 sounds like something that is hard to win, and I know a lot of you have watched numerous COD tutorials to become better players, but you feel like something is missing and holding you back from doing more. So this is my series that explains every thought and decision that I make to clutch up the hardest of the fights. Welcome to Inside the Mind of a Squad Wiper Episode 1. Today we will start with a 1v4 on a Sheikah Island. I popped the UAV and I saw a full team in Oganiko Farm. So I take the high ground and I catch the first one off guard and get the finish. With the information I have now, it's time for the next push only after I reload. I see two guys separating under me at the perfect time. So I throw a stun to temporarily isolate the guy on the outside and I go for the other one. Now why go inside the building where there's three people and not stay on the high ground which is considered an advantage? Because if I go outside, I don't have any cover and I might be pushed from so many different angles. Inside the building, I can still find a way to survive. And sadly, he isn't knocked. I'm getting shot from the right and I can see the third guy in front of me. So it's time for my ninja skills to shine. Okay, no, it's time for me to dip. I take a hard left to break their line of sight and stop them from shooting me just for a moment. And as I always mention in my coaching sessions, cover to cover movement is the most important skill you need to win tough fights. So I slide into the next cover and my goal is to take the high ground and replay. But instead of instantly rushing towards the stairs, I take a hard right first so I can keep plating without getting shot from the back. Now I can either jump down and give them the high ground or keep going to the front and risk getting shot in the back while doing so, or I can use the only stun that I have. Now a huge mistake I did here was that I got tunnel vision on getting the second guy finished while I can already see that the last one is coming up to kill me. So now I have no other choice but to fall back and apply the three R's, reload, replate and reposition all while trying to break his line of sight. And now it's just an easy 1v1. <laughs> 